Okay, here we go. Euler's method. All right. Looks complicated. It isn't. It's a little chart and uh, you just need to keep a few things in mind when you're working out and you'll go one line at a time through the chart. As you go one line through the time, when you end that line, that's the beginning of the next line. Okay. So we're going to use Euler's method with increments of delta x equal to negative 0.1 and approximate the value of y when x is 1.7. So dy dx is equal to 5 minus x. Our starting initial value is going to be x is 2, y is 8. So uh, here's how we need to set this up. We need our point right here, our point x, y. We need to know what dy is equal to, dy dx. We need to know what delta x is equal to. We need to know what delta y is going to be. Now, delta y though, remember we're gonna treat this like a fraction. So dy dx times delta x is gonna be the same thing as delta y. Uh, the reason is that the delta y is the same thing as this dy right here, and dx is the same as this delta x. So if I know what dy dx is, and I multiply it by the change in x, uh, the change in x is cancel out. Remember, the whole derivative is change in y divided by change in x. Okay, that's the key. Then, lastly, we're going to end with our point, which is going to be x plus delta x and y plus delta y. Now, in, in this case, our x's will be negative because we're told um, that delta x is, is negative 0.1. So, it'll be x minus 0.1. All right, so here's, let's get it started. I'm going to start with the point 2, 8. I'm going to start with the point 2, 8. And when I put the point 2, 8 in, I've given a value for x and a value for y. So what does dy dx equal? It equals 5 minus 2. All right, and that's going to be 3. Delta x is negative 0.1. Delta y um, is going to be dy dx times delta x. So that's going to be 3 times negative 0.1 which is negative 0.3. So x plus delta x, 2 plus negative 0.1 is 1.9. y plus delta y is 8 plus negative 0.3, 7.7. Now, once I've got that 7.7, I'm ready for my next row. I'm gonna start with the point 1.9 and 7.7. .7. I'm going to do dy dx, which means that I'm going to take 5 minus the x coordinate, 1.9. Okay, that's going to be 3.1 times delta x, negative 0.1. Uh, delta y is equal to d dx times delta x. So that's going to be uh, 3.1 times negative 0.1 which is gonna be negative 0.31. Now to get my point, yuck, that is a horrible parenthesis. Let's try again. Now to get my point, I do x plus delta x, 1.9 plus negative 0 0.1, 1.8, 7.7, .7, okay, y plus delta y, 7.7 .7 plus negative 0.31, 7.39. And then I go on to my last row, last row here, as it turns out. So I've got 1.8 and 7.39. And I do dy dx, which is going to be 5 minus the x coordinate. 5 minus 1.8, which is 3.2. Delta x is negative 0.1. Okay, so what is delta y? It's 3.2 times negative 0.1, which is negative 3.2. And how do I get that last point? Well, I do 1.8 plus delta x. 1.8 plus negative 0.1, 1.7. How do I get my new y? I do y plus delta y. 7.39 plus negative 0.32. So when you get done, uh, we want to approximate the value of y when x equals 1.7. We found 1.7. Here's x equal to 1.7. What is the y value at that point? It is this guy right here, 7.07. .07. Now, it's 
the steps here uh, are not hard. But if you get off just a little teeny tiny bit, uh, this can throw off your end answer. So make sure that you pay close attention to everything that you do and, uh, and double check it. You know, is this something that could make sense? Does it sound like it's working if we're moving in small increments? And you'll notice uh, there's a little bit of a difference between 8 and 7.07, .07, but there's also a little bit of a difference between 2 and 1.7. Remember, these are approximations. These are approximations only. So uh, it's, it's always a good practice to go through and just double check each line and make sure that you worked it out. I double checked it before I worked it out for you guys just to make sure that all of my math was straight because there's a lot of small places in here to get just a little bit off.